A bombshell development in the criminal case against MSU's former president. A judge tossed criminal charges against Luana Simon, outraging survivors of sexual abuse. Seven investigator Ross Jones joins us live with the very latest. Ross, good afternoon. Alan, good afternoon. Luana Simon was accused of lying about just when she learned about Larry Nassar's abuses. Now, all along, her attorney said the case against her should be dismissed, and today it was. She was relieved, and she feels that at least she's been exonerated. In a 24-page opinion, Judge John Moorer of Eaton County threw out the criminal charges against the former MSU president, who was accused of lying to police about a 2014 investigation into Larry Nassar. Ms. Russell, um, where are you employed? I'm employed at Michigan State University. Much of the case came down to the testimony of this woman. Paulette Granberry Russell was supposed to be the star witness for the Attorney General, but she may have helped sink their case instead. Russell was one of Simon's advisors and met with her in 2014 about a Title IX complaint filed against Nasser. The prosecution's case hinged on whether Russell specifically mentioned Nasser's name in that meeting. Simon maintained she never did, and under oath, even Russell said she wasn't sure. Without smoking gun evidence that Simon knew in 2014 that Nasser was being investigated, the case against her crumbled. There was absolutely zero evidence, and her prosecution was totally, totally, without question, not just terribly wrong, but outrageous. Today by phone, I spoke with Rachel Den Hollander, the first woman to publicly accuse Larry Nasser of abuse. Coupling this dismissal with MSU's refusal to pursue answers sends a very clear message you don't matter enough. With or without charges against Simon, Den Hollander says survivors will never receive the accountability they deserve until MSU agrees to an independent investigation of the school's handling of the Nasser scandal. The survivors have always known that the answers we need may not come completely through the judicial process. That's why an independent investigation done by MSU waiving attorney-client privilege is so absolutely critical. Now, after being criminally charged, Simon retired from Michigan State last year. She is slated to receive $2.5 million from MSU by next year. We're live in Detroit tonight. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. Quite the development. Thank you so much, Ross.